Well, the disturbing video that we showed you last night might not be the only video that was shot in this controversial case. The investigator Tom Meyer has more tonight with part two of his exclusive investigation. Why did you decide to talk with me? I don't want this to happen to somebody else. Greg Steffi and his wife Hope are suing the Stark County Sheriff, accusing deputies of using excessive and outrageous force, an allegation the sheriff denies. But Steffi says this video, shot by deputies and obtained by Channel 3 News, speaks for itself. This case got started with a call to 911 for help. Greg's wife was injured when a cousin assaulted her. When she had someone call the Stark County Sheriff, her troubles got worse, a lot worse. They say a deputy was confused when he arrived at the location where the attack occurred. They say he began treating the injured Steffi not as the victim, but as the troublemaker. He proceeded to pick her up off the ground uh, and slam her onto the ground. <laughs> Oddly enough, the sheriff's dash cam video wasn't turned on when all this was happening. That's a big question. The dash cam wasn't rolling until shortly before Steffi was placed in the back of the officer's squad car. And there's much the Steffi say happens before then and not caught on tape. She can't breathe. She, she's down face first. He's got all the air out of her. That portion of the video either doesn't exist or wasn't released to Steffi's lawyers. When Steffi is hauled to jail, she says they roughed her up again before they pinned her down on a cell floor and took off all her clothes. Again, the sheriff denies the allegation. But is there even more video missing? We believe there's still videotape out there. Check out jailhouse surveillance video. A deputy's handheld camera appears to be rolling as Steffi was escorted to a cell. Her lawyers never received any of this tape, which might show Steffi knocked to the ground again. They knocked her feet, her knees out from behind her, you know, and that she was face first. I'd like to know why they felt it was important to do that. The sheriff again denies the allegation, but there's no denying what happened in the video that Steffi's lawyers did obtain. Both male and female deputies inside a cell forcibly removing Steffi's clothes, including her bra and underwear. She was never asked, not once, during any period of time, you know, to take off your clothes, please, that there's a reason why, you know, it, it was for total humiliation. The Steffies and their lawyers say this is clearly a strip search and the sheriff has policy for this procedure. I've got uh, the Stark County Sheriff's Department policy on strip searches. It says, and I quote, the officers conducting the search must be of the same sex as the prisoner. This is Stark County Sheriff's policy. That's common policy everywhere. They violated their own policy. The sheriff's office admits deputies left Steffi completely naked in the cell for six hours, but they deny this was a strip search. Hope Steffi was convicted on misdemeanor charges of resisting arrest and disorderly conduct, but most of the videos seen in this report was never shown at trial. Now the Steffis have evidence and they want sheriff deputies held accountable. It's just wrong that they do this to people. She called for help. She asked them for help, not for this, not for this. Now the sheriff isn't talking because of the pending lawsuit, but he did say he feels they did everything by the book. The FBI typically investigates allegations of civil rights violations, but the agency wasn't aware of the Steffi case until Channel 3 News contacted them today. We also have calls into the Stark County prosecutor and the Ohio Attorney General to see if they plan to do anything about all this, Tim and Ramona. I think the tough part for a lot of people, um, whether she did something mm -hmm. wrong or not, is to see her being undressed with males present. That's the um, demeaning. And there also seems to be a real lack of clarity as to what led up to this. Uh, but that's being investigated, right? It is being investigated. The, uh, she was seeing a cousin at her house, and uh, there, another cousin showed up, and there was a fight. Hope Steffi was attacked. The, the deputy shows up, and Hope is very distraught, leans on the officer, 
the officers, the witnesses tell us, yeah. threw her up against the the, uh, the cruiser, and then asked for the driver's license, turned over the wrong driver's license, her deceased sister's license, and all hell broke loose. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of confusion. Hopefully yeah. we can hear from uh, Stark County Sheriff's well, some pe some viewers have accused us of being one-sided. We'd love to talk to the sheriff, but sheriff. they can't. But they can't speak because, because of the pending.